Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Kaylee and I do tutorials, unboxings, challenges and just all sorts of different things to do with beauty, makeup, you know. If you do enjoy what you see today then make sure that you hit that subscribe button and maybe even ring the bell so you don't miss a future video of mine. And if you want some extra content from me then head on over to my Facebook and my Instagram. I do things like lives and extra looks. I recently did a Star Wars theme makeup, Harry Potter theme makeup which I didn't post on YouTube so yeah head on over there. If you're wondering what I have on my face today, it was actually this palette here from Revolution Pro and it's actually got basically everything for a full face, well practically everything for a full face. I used this contour shade here, this bronzing shade here. I used a little bit of both of these blushers and on my eyes I used this gold here called Gold um, Aubergine and this brown and then this, this shade here called neutral so they're pretty straightforward shades and then on my lips I used this shade here called plum red um, so it's got lipsticks, bronzers, contour, highlighter I did try this highlighter but I will be honest and say that it was a bit rubbish so I actually did use this shade here called white but it's like a shimmery white I don't know if you'll be able to see that but it's a pretty good palette, it's good for if you're travelling. I think it was £10 I got it on offer so I think it's usually like 15 or 20 at most and yeah it's a pretty good one for if you travel about after all of you know the lockdown stuff obviously but yeah. So today I'm going to be doing a brow tutorial showing you how I do my brows at the moment that changes so yeah this is just how I do it and it's quite an easy way to do it so I hope that it helps you work out how to do your brows because I know a lot of people kind of struggle with that and I've had a lot of people ask me to do a tutorial so here it is. So what you'll need to be able to do this tutorial is a brow pencil, a brow gel and as an option you can also use a concealer which I use to carve out my brows. You can skip that step but that is just something that I love to do and I hope that you enjoy it so I'll see you in a second. Okay, so welcome to a very zoomed in version of me. Um, so as you can see, I've already done this eyebrow here and I'm going to show you how I did it on this one. So first up, I'm going to use a pencil, just like this. I have several different ones that I use. I don't think it really matters what you use, to be honest, as long as it's a brow pencil of some sort that goes with your shade that you need. <laughs> So what I'm going to do first is I always like to start around here and I'll drag forward. You'll see as I do this. I like to drag forward so that the line is a lot lighter than what it would be on the rest of the brow. And now I just map out that shape. And I'll show you in just a second how you map out your shape properly. So line up your pencil against the, the side of your nose and the front of your eye there and then you'll see exactly where your brow should start and then if you want to work out where your arch should be you should look forward with your pencil against the side of your nose again and it will go through the centre of your, your pupil and then go from the side of your nose to the outer corner of your eye and that is where you tail of your brow should be. So now that I've got the underline of my eyebrow I then like to line the tail of my brow as well and just above but again very lightly and dragging forward and I don't go all the way I kind of stop here where the brows the hair start to point up the way. What I'll do now is I'll fill in the brow and I want to do that as little brow hair strokes so it's not going to look super defined so you don't need to worry too much about it but it's just a little bit more natural if you do it like that. You'll notice that I always kind of leave the front of the brow because I like it to fade up. I feel like it looks a lot more natural so I'm going to kind of stop here 
but you'll see how I'll kind of fill that in in a second. Okay now, so for getting some of the shading into the front of the brow, what I do is I take the spoolie, or if you've got just like a, a brow brush like this, and I take it and I pull what product is already in my brow forward, and kind of blend that line upwards as well. So I like the brows at the start of the brow kind of sit upwards. Now if the there wasn't quite enough coming forward then what I'll do is I'll draw in a few little strokes and then I'll do the same again. And then I'll just take the spoolie and just make sure it's all kind of blended in like that. Okay, so the next step that I like to do is use a brow gel. Um, I've used a few different, they all kind of do the same thing. I'm yet to find one though that really keeps my brow hairs in place though. So if you have any recommendations, then pop a comment below. Um, this one is the Revolution. It's just the Revolution brow gel. Nothing fancy about it. <laughs> so what I do here is I take off a fair bit of the product off the, the brush because I don't want too much and I'll concentrate again leaving the front of the brow and putting those brows into place as best you can and then I make sure that even more of the products off the brush and that's where I'll take it into the front of the brow with a lot less product on and I'll just Push those hairs up the way and then out the way for the rest. You don't have to do it like that, you could just kind of do it the way you like. So this is a step that I love to do, not everybody will, um, but I find it really makes your brows really nice and defined and it's just something that ever since I started doing it, I do it every single time now. So what I do is I take some concealer, I put a little bit onto my hand. And then I'll take a flat brush like this. So it's flat and it's thin and yeah, I use that. I take a little bit of product onto that brush and then I carve out my brow to make it like a lot neater, a lot more defined. Not everybody likes a defined brow though, so obviously you can skip this step if you want. So don't go too close to the brow at first while I disperse some of the product and then I get myself really close and you do need a bit of a steady hand for this but if you just go really slowly then it'll be fine. And you can correct any like shape issues and stuff you had as well at this point. And then I'll take some very, very little um, on the top of the brow as well. If you're using a lighter shade on this part of the eye, then make sure that you step up the shade for above the brows, so one that's a lot closer to your foundation shade because you don't want it to be too light up there. And then just at this front part, just pull it forward again. Okay, and then once you've done that, I take a fluffy but kind of dense brush and I'll just blend that out. A little bit here. I kind of blend the front of the brow a little tiny little bit into that. And that is it. That's it done. So that's what I do. I'm not saying it's perfect but 
it's how I like my brows and you can kind of edit it to how you like it. Okay, so I will see you in a sec with a full face of makeup. Okay, so this is it. This is the brows fully done and I hope that you took something from that. This was a very highly requested tutorial. It's, I've been getting asked to do it for some ages since before I was even doing YouTube. So it's finally done and I hope that it helps you as much as you hoped. <laughs> If there's any other specific requests that you've got, then make sure to let me know in the comments down below or if you're on one of my social media, hit me up there. But I'm going to let you get on with your day now and I will see you next week. Bye!